Hello, 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 my dear student. This week, we will be talking about investigation nine, which is about thermal energy. Before we start, we need to revise the temperature scales. What are the three known, well-known temperature scales? We have the Fahrenheit scale, we have the Kelvin scale, and we have the Celsius scale, which is used in uh, most of our countries. Now, what do thermometers measure to provide a temperature reading? The objectives of this lesson is to develop and use models to illustrate the transfer of thermal energy at a microscopic level and the molecular level to plan and conduct an investigation to provide evidence that the transfer of thermal energy when two components of different temperatures are combined within a closed system result in a more uniform distribution among the components of the system. Now, we will talk about the three primary states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. What are the properties of solids? What are the properties of liquid? And finally, what are the properties of gases? We will be discussing that in our class. Then we will talk about the structure of matter. What is a solid made up of? Solids are made up of particles arranged in a regular repeated pattern that the particles are held in place by the attractive forces and that the particles don't move relative to the other particles, but instead they vibrate in place. Then the next phase, which is liquid. Liquids are made up of particles that can flow freely around each other and attractive forces keep the particles together. Now, my question for you is, how does the kinetic energy of the particles compare between those in solids and liquids? We will answer this question in our class. Now, finally, last but not least, which is gas. We will be talking about the gaseous state of matter, and we will be discussing it in detail. Particles in liquid have less kinetic energy than particles in gas. Then we will talk about ideal gas. What is the definition of an ideal gas? It is a model used to approximate the behavior of real gases. Use the model to explain how the particles interaction determine the pressure. How can you increase the pressure of gas? by what by decreasing the volume decreasing the volume while the temperature stays the same what happens uh, the volume is decreasing so when i say the volume we have pressure and volume we have many uh, components or elements to differentiate between. Now, average kinetic energy of gas particles. Gas particles are consistently in motion and are constantly colliding with each other and with the walls of the container traveling in straight lines in between. How can you infer the meaning of the average kinetic energy of the particles in a container? Yeah, the average kinetic energy is the average speed of the collection of particles. So we will discuss that in details. The rule to calculate the average kinetic energy, we all know it. The temperature is the measure of the average kinetic energy of particles in matter. Then we will discuss temperature, the three scales, how we use them, how to convert between them. And then we'll connect it to what thermal energy.
or the total internal energy. I hope you will understand this lesson as you have understood all the previous lessons. Uh, if you have any question, don't hesitate to ask about it. Have a good day, everybody.